Hey everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own refillable journal as a bookmark and that you can just refill by sliding new pages underneath this center cord anytime your journal gets full. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is make my art journal cover. And I, what I'm going to do is I've just got some manila covered computer paper here and I have folded it in half so if I wanted to I could make the journal this large but I'm just going to make this one quarter size I'm going to fold this again but before I do that I'm going to cut my pages in half along that fold line and then I'm going to stack all my pages together and I'm going to fold them again keeping them as straight as possible. Just one flap from a cardboard box. And that's just what I'm going to use for my cover. So I'm going to place this slightly inside. And I'm going to want to fold it along here. So I'm just going to take my ruler and my scissors and I'm just going to form a score line there, like that, so that I can fold this over and trim off the extra. I'm going to cover the entire book cover, in the front and the back, so I have this piece that is going to fit and it's going to meet in the center here. Apply some hot glue. I'm going to do this side as well. So I'm going to bring this section over. I'm going to fold the edge and bring that over hold this in place and I'm going to apply some hot glue right inside there and press that in place and that makes a really great seam So there's the spine. Now I'm going to apply some glue. And there's my cover. And right above this, like a sixteenth of an inch I would say, I'm going to puncture a hole and I'm just using a sharp pencil to do this and make another hole on the opposite end like that. So I folded a, wire, a little piece of wire in half to make it into a needle my jute through one end and then through the other side like that. That's going to be the inside of the book and this is the outside and now I'm going to bring these two ends together I'm going to tie this into a square knot, making sure that I have it really quite tight. If you have to, you can get someone else to help you. To fill up my book, I'm simply going to pass my stack of pages under this jute like that. You can refill your book at any time. Here's the knot on the outside of the book, and I have just put some little beads on the ends and then just tied a knot. Now one of these will be able to be used as a bookmark, place it anywhere inside your book. The other one is going to be used to tie the book closed. Now here on this end, attach the button by puncturing holes and passing the jute through and then tying it. So then to close the journal, all you do is bring this tie around and twist it around the button. I have here one of the little watch pockets from an old pair of jeans. I could glue this pocket on the inside of the journal, but instead I'm going to glue it out on the outside. I'm going to place it in position, and I'm going to put an ample amount of glue underneath. 
I'll just do one seam at a time. Now on the end of a pencil, I just tied a piece of jute with some beads on it, put just a tiny little bit, and wipe my finger, and put a tiny bit of hot glue, and I have two pockets here. To decorate the front here, you could attach anything that you have, but in one of my other videos, I showed how to make this necklace. So I could attach this pendant on the front of my journal like that. Or you could attach my Tree of Life pendant. Click here to find out how to make this Tree of Life pendant. Or you could attach any of these, which I've shown also in another video. Click here to find out how to make these. And there you go. That's how you can make your very own quick refillable journal.